the reward that we got is the views of the most beautiful city in Colombia. I used to wear them when I was a kid. You can see a lot of people gathering around and even feeding the birds. The first church in Bucaramanga was built in a Gothic German style. Welcome once again here to Irving Time. Today we are in Bucaramanga, Colombia, the city where I'm coming from. So why we're here? Well, this city is better known as the most beautiful city in Colombia and also the city of the parks. So what are we going to do today? So we are going to walk around the most important parks, in my opinion, and the most beautiful ones. And well, we are already in one, which is the Enchanted Forest, Bosque Encantado. So we're going to start with the first one here and walk around and show you a little bit more of the views that we can find in this park. It's very steep, all this park, and it was built in a very creative way. As you can see, there are bridges all around. This area is very steep, and I think it's really good use of the land. Also, you can see here towards this side, walkways as well for kids. I don't think I can do it. I cannot go up there because, well, it's made for kids. I'm not a kid anymore. But yeah, I'm going to show you more the things that you can find here and something very interesting. Wait a second. And this is what I wanted to show you. These signs that you can find all made of wood around the park. And basically what explains is a little bit of the park, the name of the park. The area of the park is more than 18,000 square meters. And also the type of tree that you find next to the sign. Like this tree is a ficus. Benjamina, that's the, the type of scientific name. And yeah, you can, you can have a little bit of, you know, um, culture, I guess. You, you learn something in the park, which is something quite interesting and educational. So we have arrived to the top of the park. And look, the reward. The reward that we got is the views of the most beautiful city in Colombia. Bucaramanga. So you definitely have to put in your itinerary when you come to this beautiful country. So we're going to continue with the walk with the next parks and see how it goes. We are now in another park which I really like and it's called La Flora Ecological Park. It's very green, it's very massive. A lot of people come and exercise here every day. And one of the things that you can find here is this monument about the footwear of the traditional farmers in Santander, which is uh, where Bucaramanga is located. And uh, they are called Chocatos. I used to wear them when I was a kid. And well, let's walk more around this park and show you more things that you can find here. Look how deep and thick and the trees, how massive they are. You see, it's very vast. Once you are inside the park, not even the sun come, comes in because it's, the, the thickness of the trees is just so like, wow, overwhelming. Oh, I'm so tired. In Bucaramanga, everything is so hilly. And well, this park it is as well. But look what I found here. It's an area for kids, for younger kids in there. And towards this other side is more for adults. You can see some couple in there. And also, I guess this area here is also for adults like me. Uh, let me try if I can go up. Well, if I still have the skills to go up. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, actually I can do it. Yes, definitely. So yeah, La Flora is, is a good place to come and entertain yourself, come with your family. And to end our walk in this part, I want to end it with uh, an honor of this artist, Cinco Mundos, Un Cosmos by Raquel Ofer, that you can see here in the back. So if you come here, you just not walk around, you find some arts installments around. So yeah, come and check it out. Let's go to the next one. We are now in Santander Park in honor to the General Santander, which is the statue that you can see in there. This part is not as green as the other ones that we have seen before. 
in the background also there is a kai which are little police stations that are very common around the parks in Colombia. You can see a lot of people gathering around and even feeding the birds. And in the background as well, we can see a campus of the Universidad Industrial de Santander, which is a very well-known uh, Colombian university. And towards this side, if you come with me, you can see in the background the cathedral where I was baptized. It's La Catedral de la Sagrada Familia. And well, every time you know a little more about me, and okay, let's go to the next one. We are arriving to another park, which is called San Laureano. This park is very well known because the majority of the main government buildings are located around. The first one that we can find here is the Palacio de Justicia, which is all in there and has a massive square here. And in the background there is the city hall. Oh, I'm gonna go a, a little bit closer because you can see the park there and to have a closer views from there. We are now inside the park and as I was telling you, the background is the city hall. Other interesting things, you see the park is all with palm trees. It's very like Caribbean, even though we are not in the Caribbean. And that little building there in that corner, I don't know if you can see it, is like a, the first church in Bucaramanga, which is La Capilla de los Dolores, very well known. And uh, let's continue walking towards this other side. A lot of people gathering in the, ha in the park. There is an exhibition of photography around the park at the moment. And towards this other side, they call it El Palacio Amarillo, which is the government, the governor house. It's like where all the, the department head of the department uh, work there. And towards this other side, and to finish, I guess it is La Iglesia San Laureano that you can see there in the background. So this is San Laureano Park, and I hope you are enjoying this walk with me. We have arrived to another park. It's called El Parque de los Niños, the children's park. Uh, behind me, there is also Parroquia Nuestra Señora de Fátima. And next to it is La Biblioteca Gabriel Turbay. It's the most common place for all the kids to come and, you know, borrow some books and, you know, enjoy some cultural activities there. And towards this side you, is where the park starts. And it's a very well-maintained park. Uh, there is also a little police station, as I said, very popular in Colombia and all the parks. And towards this side, there is some small football pitch and uh, some places to do outdoor, um, uh, I guess, exercises. We have arrived now to the center of the park. As you can see, a lot of people selling things as well in the park and a lot of people coming here to enjoy with their, their families and you can see there is also a statue for the oh, I guess it's like an Olympic statue or something like that and towards this side there are also some tennis courts that you can come and play there. These are the last views of El Parque de los Niños. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy all the other parks here in Bucaramanga, La Ciudad de los Parques, the city of the parks. And in the background, you can see a campus of La Universidad Antonio Nariño, a very well-known building built in a Gothic German style. I hope you enjoy all this video. Please keep sharing and checking my videos here in Irving Time. And see you next time.